In this video we're looking at calculating the amount of tax somebody needs to pay. Uh, so in this example we've got Tom. Tom's a member of parliament, so he's an MP, works in Westminster. And his salary for the year is 79000 So as we saw from previous lessons, first thing we need to do is take away the 11000 that we're not charged tax on. So that leaves us with... 68,000 and that's the part of his salary that is taxable so 11,000 he still has the 11,000 that's been put aside he doesn't have to pay tax on that this is the part of his salary that he's going to pay tax on now from here it gets a slightly bit complicated um, we're looking at the part of his salary that's between 11 and 43,000 that's 32,000 here which he does have. So there's 32,000 here that he's going to pay 20% tax on. So we'll look for 20% of 32,000. We're also going to take that 32,000 away from 68 to see how much he's got left over. So he's got 36,000. And that's 36,000, that's still taxable, it's part of the 68,000. So that 36,000 falls in between the 43 and the 150, simply because it's that part of his salary that's over 43,000. So on terms of this, he's going to pay 40% tax. Twenty percent of thirty two thousand. So we can do thirty two thousand divided by one hundred. That gives us one percent multiplied by twenty and we've got six thousand four hundred. Doing the same with thirty six thousand we want to find forty percent this time. So it's thirty six thousand divided by one hundred. That's one percent multiplied by forty because it's forty percent we're looking for. We've got fourteen thousand four hundred. This is the tax he's going to pay: the six thousand and fourteen thousand. So altogether, you'd pay twenty thousand eight hundred, and that is total tax due. And that's all it is. So your first step will always be get rid of that eleven thousand, find out what's taxable. If there's anything over thirty two thousand, then that's what brings the forty percent into play. If it's under, uh, sorry, forty three thousand, I should say. If it's under the forty three thousand, then it's just going to end up paying twenty percent tax on that amount. Make sure you follow it logically, lay it out carefully in your books. So you can see what's happening every time.